Today, the truck finally gets the air ride axle installed. <laughs> All right, so yesterday, I actually cut the rear end already. I figured out the angle that I wanted and it's basically be a nice angle, something like that. Give it a cut with a torch. Going old school, not using the plasma, using the oxyacetylene. So why not? You gotta learn everything, right? You gotta use every craft that you got. And if I'm doing everything with the plasma, I don't wanna lose my skill using the oxyacetylene. So, you know, why not? So this is how much I actually have to cut out here. That looks pretty good there. The lines are good. I'm gonna start marking up the rest of the lines and then we're gonna cut the frame. Anytime you're using an oxygen acetylene torch, you always wanna get into a good habit of uh, cleaning the tips, especially if you're cutting stuff that's got paint and stuff on it. So you uh, get the torch tip cleaner, just find the nearest size, and you just kind of scrape it around on the tip really quick. Clean it out, and then you get a nice clean cut. You just give it a little air, and it's good to go. You don't want a dirty tip. Dirty tips are no good. getting so close I just got to find some tube and uh, and line them up but it's getting there and it's starting to rain so if it keeps getting heavier I'm not gonna be able to weld this thing today <sighs> what a beautiful day today yesterday we had to stop because of the rain and I couldn't weld in the rain but today it's sunny it's almost 50 degrees outside everything's melting it's great I can't wait to start being able to normally do stuff outside again without all the snow and cold. <laughs> so Will's not here. He left his camera here. I came in blasting Barbie Girl, and uh, let's go find him. We're gonna. We're just gonna leave that guy. <laughs> Alright, I didn't know where he was, I didn't know what he was doing. So. Hopefully hopefully that doesn't mess up any business things. But uh I don't know, I thought it was funny. Oh hello! Just to set the uh, set the scene here, the entire backyard that Jesus Christ, that we're working with is ice, and uh, I don't know much about you know things, but I know that ice and welding and water is bad. But I mean, we're just gonna send it. You just gotta give her a nice bevel. Will, can you explain what kind of redneck ingenuity we're about to do? So, it's like a train. 
You know, the train's got rails. This you is not this is this is nothing like a train. <laughs> train's got rails. You got your ratchet strap over there and you pull it and it's gonna line the frame right up. Good to go. So you're telling me that with these pieces of square tubing, yeah. this ratchet strap. Yeah. That ratchet strap. Yeah. That this is just gonna pull forward and yeah. it's gonna be fine. Uh-huh. It worked in my brain. One eight hundred no kick. Crank, I'm pretty much gonna steer until it touches. Oh, okay, that's actually nice. Chug it, chug it, two, two, mother. Uh, yep, we're good. Look at that. This is going way too simply, <laughs> so I just need you to know that. There's no way. Is that possible? Alright, get it close right there. Okay. And then I'm and put it on that side of the frame. Yep, perfect. Just crank until it's tight. Until it's tight or like till it's tight? Um, actually... Yeah, because we gotta move this side a little bit. Slow time? Yeah, if you wanna hit it right here. Are you gonna hit it, hit it, hit it. Uh, nope, no. you're fine, Charlie. <laughs> Just like that, huh? She went just a little too far, but that's fine. Sorry, I just ruined that whole frame. The whole frame's ruined. <laughs> Are you gonna fire me? I ain't getting paid anyway. I wish I was getting paid. Someone's gotta pay us. That's good. Uh, sledgehammers, Pierce fire trucks, uh, Craftsman. Uh, Craftsman's out of business. Cobalt, <laughs> Ryobi, Home Depot. Uh, we don't have licenses to use your names, but. Uh, Come on, Gallery Garage over here needs some sponsors. We'll put your, I, I mean, as long as you're cool with it. I, you know, put some stickers on the back window, send us a sticker. Oh, that does. Oh, who makes these clamps? Someone makes these clamps. Strong hand, strong hand, send us a sticker, sponsor, you know. All right, so uh, one thing, if the viewers, if the viewers noticed that Will has added to his uh, style for the day, Safety glasses. Yeah. Oh, the safety glasses in the way? <laughs> no, the safety glasses. I was saying the safety glasses are good. Oh, yeah. You know? I finally started wearing safety glasses because remember I went to the hospital because I got something in my eye? Yeah. I didn't like that very much. I don't like hospitals. Hospitals are bad. Uh, these hats also going to be available on the website soon. Gallery Fabrication. Uh, customizable with your name. That's a sponsor right there. You sponsor yeah. the fire truck build. Soon, it's coming soon, coming soon. Watch the website for updates. Merch, gotta get the merch. Gotta get the merch. Gotta get the merch. If you guys didn't know, my nickname's Rudy. That's why it says Rudy. I don't uh, think they know that yet. That's Rudy. I've known Rudy since he was a tadpole in the swimming pond. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he's been Rudy ever since. Yeah. Boom. I'm Rudy. You guys can't see behind the scenes, but this tripod scene is. Meow. <laughs> All right, let's get back to work here. I ain't paying you for standing around, I ain't paying him at all. Uh, try to go to the inside if you can. As much as you can on top. Why is everything on this truck sharp and trying to kill me? Sure. Hold on. Can we get rid of this? Because otherwise you're not going to have an accurate. No, that's fine. It's, it's there. As long as it's on close to the inside. I'm on the line. 185. 185 and a 16. Okay, I just gotta do the other side. Yeah, 185 and 16. The other side should be 185 and 16. The whole 16th isn't gonna uh, bother anything. Yeah, you lined up. 185 and 16th. That is as square as it can be. There's no way. Perfect. Like, it's weldable right now. I'm not worried about a, a, a 16th. Like, if, if I was worried about the 16th, we would have to take it apart. I'd have to grind the 16th off, rebevel it. A whole 16th is not gonna change anything. It's literally just like it's I am a hundred percent sure there's someone on the internet who will disagree with me. Whatever. <laughs> but yeah, she's ready to weld. So what are you standing around for? <laughs> Why don't you grind this side too? Make it all nice and clean. So fresh and so clean.
Now it exploded. Now it's on fire. There's sparks shooting out of the ground. Is that supposed to happen? Yeah, it'll figure itself out. All right, I guess so. I guess we're good. All right, so what we just witnessed here was the first weld on the fire truck. Let's see it. Oh, you're not done? Huh? You're, you're not done yet? What do you mean? What do you mean? No. I need to hurry the f right. Ooh, I said a bad word. I gotta boop it out. You, you gotta, you gotta hurry the fudge up. I gotta get my dolphin. You're gonna have to go to the fudge factory. I do one last eyeball here. We're looking at what you're looking at. That looks pretty straight to me. Yep, we're gonna send it. Just gonna send it. Seen a 1980s Yamaha enticer, all right? That's a fire truck. Kind of. this weld you actually have to weld up you never want to weld down and you want to do a nice little weld nice little weld nice little weld all the way up so it actually takes a little bit of time and you gotta do it on each side so this is actually tacked I gotta see I can take one clamp off so if you're just following up with us here we'll bought a fire truck it was a whole fire truck it even still had water and stuff in it now it's not now it's just a frame uh, this rear axle is out of some type of freight freight liner. It was a Kenworth uh, T300 or T800. Kenworth, because he wanted air ride. So because he wanted air ride, he wound up having to cut this entire frame and is now welding a rear axle in with air ride because somehow that was easier. I don't know. It was explained to me and I don't understand it. But hey, it's just going to be a lot nicer. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be like floating on a cloud in a semi-truck or a medium semi-truck. Um, not exactly, but I mean, <laughs> you know. So also other things that have been done here is you can notice that these hubs are red. If anyone knows anything about semi trucks, they're not normally red, they're normally black. Uh, and the rear axle that is also black is normally red in fire trucks. So not only did he cut off the entire back of the truck, then swap a frame and well, half a, a couple feet of a frame and an axle into a truck and is now welding it together. He also switched the entire hub assemblies because they were hub centric and these ones are lug centric. And I don't know, it's not a regular car here, folks. If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it right. The flatbed roll off is going where there, Rudy? Right here. Right here. And uh, how exactly that's gonna happen, I don't know. And I'm here the whole time. So I'm it's in my brain. I sure the suspense is killing everyone. <laughs> I have I have it all in my brain. It's it's all in there. I just gotta do it and build it, and it'll it'll come out. I don't really do much on paper except for like write measurement numbers down. It's all in my brain, so I go with that. And who taught you how to do all this? Uh, I my dad taught me most of it, but a lot of it is it's self self taught. You gotta just do it. You mean that there's no books? for chopping a fire truck in half and welding another rear at, rear end in and then putting a rollback on it? No. You just do it. It's like a lot of people will just be like, oh, I got to like haul somebody. I mean, I've been doing this for a while, but I mean, why not figure it out? You learn. And then now for the rest of my life, rest of my life, I can say I welded a fire truck together to an air ride axle and then put a tow bed on it. So. <laughs> and how many other people have done this? Well, the Diesel Brothers did it, but that doesn't count. I'm doing it myself. Diesel Brothers. We got a big, big window right there for a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the Diesel Brothers. I mean, they were the ones who inspired me. We just don't have beards. Other than that, we we, we, we could be the Diesel Brothers. I 
mean, probably not. I mean, they're pretty burly, but the beards definitely, definitely make the, the whole, the whole thing. There. You know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I love those guys. guys well I got most of the frame welded I just have to work on the, the little piece at the bottom but look at that nice beautiful weld it's a little bubbly it's all right it has to be pretty it's got to be strong and then we're gonna grind the inside and then we're gonna plate it in here too so it'll be nice and strong we're gonna put a plate bunch of bolts in it like probably three bolts on each side and should be good to go there we go fire truck is under its own weight again with the new axle in the back that's awesome man this is looking good so far jack stands are out she's under her own weight i mean the airbags aren't in but you know this thing's coming out good i mean i'm making a lot of progress so far that's gonna be it for this video uh, i hope you guys enjoyed leave a comment below let me know what you think of the project uh, like subscribe tell your friends about this cool channel uh we're gonna keep building this thing Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys at the next one. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, stop. I made a hot tub out of a fire truck. <laughs>